At this time, I would like to introduce Elena from Poland, who's going to introduce a very special speaker for us. Elena. The next speaker and uh, our special guest uh, is representing Singapore. And wow. also, he's a very uh, special guest of ours because he's the world champion of public speaking 2017. And uh, he's not only a great speaker, but he's also an amazing leader and supporting with a lot of activities, with uh, his webinars, taking part in different meetings. And uh, he's very flexible and uh, easygoing. In fact, uh, it, it took him a couple of minutes to accept the invitation to this meeting and said, why, of course, why not, I will join you. So uh, please uh, welcome with huge virtual applause, world champion of public speaking 2017, Manoj Vasudevan with his speech, how to turbocharge uh, yourself in turbulent times. Manoj Vasudevan. Oh, thanks a lot, Elena. So everybody on the call, I would invite you to turn on your video for the next few minutes. If you can turn on your video, you can keep yourself muted, turn on your video, and you will use the chat session interact. I see a lot of familiar faces, friends and friends yet to meet. I know been to your country, but I can see your country through this camera. All right. Fantastic. So in the next few minutes, I want to share with you some specific text is at least three things that you can do to turbocharge yourself during these turbulent times and stay ready for the rebound the key is stay ready for the rebound because i truly believe we are going to get over this crisis and we're going to rebound again just because we as a human race has done it several times during the first world war during great depression we have gone through several turbulent times first world war great, great depression world war ii the famines crisis floods earthquakes the 2008 financial crisis so a lot of things have happened because even though we are as, as, as diverse as we can all see we also have a unique characteristic we are able to change we are able to adapt we are able to innovate do you know that there's only one other creature that's able to do the same thing. There's only one other creature that can change, adapt and innovate. If you know the answer, I will invite you to type it in the chat box. There's only one other creature that can adapt like humans. No, <laughs> that's a good one from Robert, but no, something else. Yes, that's right, Sabri and cockroaches. So cockroaches are very, do you have cockroaches in your country? Raise your hand if you have cockroach in your country. Yes, you all have. Yeah, so I got the right answer. So don't worry, cockroaches can adapt everywhere, right? They're seen everywhere in the in the world, I think, except for Antarctica. But again, Antarctica, there are not humans, many humans as well. So don't worry, the world is not going to end. Even if the world is going to end, you're not going to be left alone. There will always be a cockroach with you. OK, don't worry about that. So don't. So there are three steps here I, I like to select is one thing I heard recently from a person we were interviewing so number one step to do is to choose optimism even though there is no evidence to the contrary choose optimism recently i interviewed a guy he's, he's 84 year old guy his name is lenny ravich he's author of the book everlasting optimism you can take a look some of you attended the call everlasting optimism 84 years old he's in the middle of the crisis but still he's staying happy, looking forward, energetic, doing the things he has to do. Of course, he's taking precaution, but he's also staying ready by staying happy. So when I interviewed him, he spoke about choosing optimism. That's my first lesson for you, choosing optimism. And one of the things he said, you, sh you should find a way to st stimulate your happy hormones in yourself, like dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, feeling connected to each other. And he also taught us some techniques that we can use to stimulate the happy hormone. It will take you take me one minute to teach you would you be interested to learn if you're interested to learn raise your hand yes all right take your finger show, show me the, the the four finger show me the four finger and keep that finger on your throat yeah like right here throat so what he said you have there are three chakras in your body one this is called the th throat chakra what you need to do is you to activate this and this is how you activate the throat chakra when i on the count of three you go with me you go <laughs> come on repeat after me <laughs> one more time <laughs> one last time 
How do you feel? All right. Now take a breath out. Go. Everybody go. <sighs> okay. So that's how we activate your throat chakra. Now we activate the heart chakra. So take your hand, palm of your hand, keep it on your heart, and you go. And again, these are lessons of Lenny Ravitch. He said, you go like this. <laughs> Loud as you can. Wake up your neighbors. <laughs> One last time. <laughs> All right. You feeling better? Now, everybody go. <sighs> okay. One last one. Keep your palm of your hand below your, uh, around your belly button. Okay. So this is your Santa Claus laughter. So here you go. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Paul is doing really well. Paul gets the uh, the the laughter of the year award. Okay, good job. So what he said, he is he 84 year old guy. Every day he looks at the mirror before he leaves home, and he does this activity before he goes home. Then he says, ha! he so he laughs and he said, I am still here. So everybody go say, I am still here. Or I can't hear you. Just say, I am still here. All right, great. So, of course, he taught several techniques. You send me an email. Next time I interview him, I'll bring you in. It's really life-changing for many people who brought it. So that's the number one, choosing optimism. Number two is to increase your discipline and reduce your distraction. Increase your discipline, reduce your distraction. Do you remember a time when you used to say, I will do that when I have more time? I will do this when I have more time. This is the time. This is the time, right? If people can still do what they plan to do now, that means what they lack was not time. It was discipline right so work on a discipline so what i figured out to do is to few things is to start every day with a to-do list and this is a struggle for many people they have not, never worked from home so a lot of people i'm coaching in leadership coaching senior leaders they're not used to working at home and doing their work right so the one thing that works is before you start your day look at the to-do list for the next seven days next seven days not just today next seven days and during the day you stay focused and get things done do and less news do not watch the news every three seconds right every three seconds checking how many people affected and all that uh, is that is people in are in charge of that right there are people looking after that so you look at what you can control and what you need to do then you can get ahead of that so start your day with uh, the to-do list stay focused and end your day at the end of every day end with gratitude saying i am still here i am still here right so it's just so gratitude and offers several other things you need to be grateful for. What I am doing now is I'm doing a 30 day gratitude challenge. I'll paste that into the uh, into the chat box. You can do look at it. So every day for 30 days, so that becomes a habit, right? So these are all elements of staying focused, staying positive and getting things done. So the number one was choose optimism. Number two was increase discipline, reduce distraction. Number three is to have a make plans for the future. So imagine you're going through a tunnel and it's very dark. You can't see anything, but you need to imagine there's a light on, at the end of the tunnel it's because you, do, you have no clue when this is going to be over. You don't know how long is the tunnel, how long it's going to take, but you need to have the belief that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and you make plans when you, as you go through the tunnel, you can't see anything. You see people are confused. So you plan, make plans of what's coming after the tunnel and you work and then you come back to focus on the now for that is you need to have something you look forward to so create so when you have a purpose you your hope will increase your focus will increase your optimism will increase but then you're not going to stay in the future you are not really live in the here and now focus on what you can do now to make the future realistic and this is the only way the best way to go overcome a crisis is to have something to look forward to there are great books written on this topic is supported by psycho psychology you need to look forward to something you need to have so for example when i was a shy reserved introverted person I, my mentor came to me and said manoj manoj you can be the world champion of public speaking and i have this very bad habit whenever somebody says something nice about me i'll just believe it right so i just <laughs> i just believe it having the goal what happened was i had a purpose I had optimism, I had focus, and I had discipline, which I never had before. Once then I realized it's very important to have goals. 
And then when I realized and I, when I overcome my fear and I was like progressing in this contest journey and I'm becoming a better speaker and leader and author, what happened was I started thinking how, how can I help other people to be better? Because one of the things I notice in the world, going around the world, there are a lot of competent people who are not confident. There are a lot of competent people in the world who are not confident just because they are not confident, they are not influential enough, they are not authoritative enough, they don't get what they deserve and they just live a life of insignificant and frustration. So then on the other side, there are a lot of confident people who necessarily do not have the competence. Right. So on one side, the competence. So I said, oh, because I realized these are the people who become influencers and control the world. And I said, what if we help these people who are competent to become confident? That became my central purpose to do as I was trying to win the gold championship. Then I remember when I won the world championship, I was interviewed on newspaper. They said, what's your next big goal? So I had this goal in my mind. I said, I'm going to help 20 million people to overcome the fear of public speaking. Right. So the, the newspapers actually published that. Right. But at that time, I had no clue what to do. Right, I, I, That was my vision. I even spoke to the Toastmasters president at that time and a few other people I'm going to have this goal because 20 million is a big number. Right. So people said there are seven zeros. Yeah? So then uh, of course, to, this is like 10 times the toast was a big goal. But having that big goal opens up opportunities, open thought. Then I what I did was I created a public speaking course record and I'm, I'm not comfortable on camera. So I had overcome that uh, comfort factor and recorded and gave it away for free. So if you want, you can take a look at it. It's called nervous to fabulous.com. And uh, last month I was in a room with a COVID-19 patient. I was quarantined for two weeks in my room. So I could not leave my home. That's when Elena called me to do a webinar. I still did the webinar during quarantine. And uh, then I was thinking, what is, what, what is happening to my legacy? What's happening in my purpose? So I actually revisited this pr program. And I saw that every week, 500 people are going through that program, through the online program. And I said, oh, there is something more I can do. So my invite to you is look into your, take this time, have the focus, have the discipline, look at your competency, look at what you can add the uh, contribute. Because what I have realized in my life is that the best exercise for the heart, the best exercise for the heart is when you bend down to lift someone up. When you bend down to lift someone up so look at your competency look out your contribution to the world and then i'm 100 percent sure there's something you can contribute but you need to sit down reflect in this god given time where you sit down and write down that thing you always wanted to do and make plans for the future so my friends i the, all the links i said i'll paste it on the chat box so uh, my request for you and my wish for you is of course to stay safe and take precautions, help others in need, because this is the time where the question is not how can I survive? The question is, how can I serve? Then your your entire thing shifts. So you're looking up from your worries. You so look up, look around, look forward, and stay ready for the rebound. Over to you, Elena. This is what I like the most when he mentioned, how can I serve? Look up, look around and get ready for the rebound. I think that's the most important. I must tell you that uh, I enjoyed Manoj's uh, inspirational speech. I've known Manoj for quite a while and I've heard him very often, but today he was splendid, especially in this time where his uh, inspirational speech was very relevant. Thank you to the organizers for getting him to join us in this meeting today. It did take a little extra time, but I think it was well worth it. One other thing I needed. Thank you, everyone, and I will be in touch with you, and we'll talk about follow-up events. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye.